Welcome, I'm John Furrier with theCUBE here in Palo Alto, California. We're part of the ongoing coverage of Ansible Fest 2021 virtual. This year, like all years, we're covering it virtually. In-person events soon will be back and we'll be back in person when that happens. This year, year two of virtual coverage of Ansible Fest 2021. And just like last year, a great lineup of virtual interviews. We have the ability to pull people in remotely, which gives us more access to poor people. So we've got a lot more content, a lot more content and stories to report. The big theme this year coming up is going to be automation, automation, automation in hybrid environments. So automation, hybrid, and now the emergence of um, the democratization of AI. You're seeing AI being driven by automation. You're seeing automation going from repeating tasks that need to be automated to being programmatic in the cloud development lifecycle. Uh, so a lot of changes going on. We had some great guests, Tom Anderson, Richard Henshaw has been there. We had a lot of community updates, Carol Chen was on. Joe Fitzgerald and Tom Anderson and Alessandro Pirelli were on. Great lineup there. The thought leadership there was all about how Red Hat, Ansible are bringing the next generation automation platform to the community and making it easy for new people to come in. We heard from Kindrel, IBM, uh, Scott Kinane and Anand uh, Gopalas Christian and Lisa Chavez. So great, great content there. Again, more and more uh, community. The constant theme of open source and community continues to, to reign true for Red Hat Ansible Fest uh, 2021. And the big surprise to me was they had great customer traction, okay? Sapphire Health came on, talking about migration. Enterprise customers are taking automation mainstream, powering programmatic cloud native solutions. So you're starting to see evidence, not just the hardcore automation folks that Ansible has been servicing in the enterprise, in the developer community, but mainstream developers in the enterprises are adopting Ansible. This is the real deal. We heard from the chief architect of Ansible, okay, Matthew Jones, going into great detail on how the enablement of the, of the system is going to be creating more headroom for future growth. All in all, great content from theCUBE, great guests as usual. And of course, check out Twitter and LinkedIn and, and all the social networks for CUBE highlights. And of course, content and the guests themselves are awesome. So take a listen and watch those videos and enjoy the show.